Hello everyone and coming to you today from the largest stadium in the Balearic Islands, the Visit Mallorca Estadi. I'm Derek Ray and I'm joined here on the gantry for commentary by Stuart Robson. An action coming up from the Spanish top division, La Liga. It's Mallorca and they face Elche. Well, thanks Derek as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Well, he really is danger personified, but in this game, Stuart, what do you think we might see from him? Well, Derek, this season, he's been outstanding on occasions. His goal tally is really, really good. He looks a threat whenever he gets the ball, and his movement's been excellent. I'm sure he'll add to his tally today, and they're going to have to mark him really tightly. So the initial 11 for the home side. The goalkeeper of choice is Sergio Rico. Pablo Maffeo starts with Jaume Costa in the fullback positions. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. This is how the visitors will set up today. Well, it's the basic 4-4-2 formation, but played well, it can be really effective. And key to its success are the wide midfield players. They have to be fit, they need to be able to run with the ball, and they need to double up with their fullbacks. It's a really tough role for them. So for Mallorca, it certainly was a good performance and result in the last match against Cadiz. What do you expect to see this time, Stuart? Well, that result away from... Can they forge ahead? They do, and you've got to say they're good value for the lead. Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal, and he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. a million miles away almost the equalizer well it's not a bad effort is it but they've got to find a way back into this one and there's the delivery of an ordinary header and that's probably being charitable Well, they continue their push for the equaliser, but definitely not forcing it. This could square the game. Determined defending. Well, the hosts have dominated the flow of the game in the last 15 minutes. Well, just fractionally wide. Good strike. had to be on their toes defensively given the circumstances doesn't want to lose his cool here cutting the ball back and they've done it to square the game once again exhilarating Well, here we can see it again. He's shown outstanding vision to find the perfect cutback. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal.
Could be dangerous. Ivan Marconi. Real chance. And a goal it is to put them in front again. No less than they deserve. Well, here it is again. It was a good finish, but the keeper has to do better at his near post. He was beaten far too easily on that occasion. Salva Sevilla. Opportunity here. And a goal! Real excitement here. The equaliser. Well, here's the goal again. And you have to say the patience of the passing is outstanding. They're just waiting for the right time to penetrate. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. A quarter of an hour remaining here. Well, visionary passing. It was a menacing attack, but tidied up. Good bit of pressing. Oh, great attacking play. High echelon goalkeeping there. Well, just listen to these fans. They're urging their team to score here and take the lead. And played short. Well, let's see about the cross. Well, sadly, a bit of a tame effort, that one. And far too close to the goalkeeper. Opportunity! Oh, just wide of the mark. Goal kick. Well, that never looked like troubling the keeper, did it? But it was worth an effort. A good strike from him. And there it is, the full-time whistle. Well, they can't be separated. And goals very much part of the equation. Stuart, as always, interested to get your final analysis. Well, Derek, it was a really good game between two evenly matched teams. Both had their moments, but neither side really deserved to lose this one.